is up awesome people welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y trading card game flash fire expansion update alrighty so the last update that I met up with you guys with I basically just explained um, the new English release for the new expansion which is flash fire for the X and Y series and yes I am well aware this set has been released in Japan um, I don't follow the Japanese set because I don't want any spoilers for this set because as I did mention in the last update video, I do enjoy finding out about the set as I open up the booster pack. So any spoilers, please keep them to yourself because I don't really want to know. Alrighty, so in the last update, we looked at the three feature cards plus some of the details for the um, expansion. So the three cards we got shown was... Um, Charizard Mega Revolution, so Mega Charizard, both Fire and Dragon Stage, plus a Stage 1 Pokemon, which was Pyroar. Um, we also got told that there is going to be three Mega Revolutions. Um, as I said, don't spoil it for me. Um, five EX cards and 25 new Pokemon from the X and Y series, from the video game series, and 15 new trainer cards, which I have a funny feeling, which this is what they usually do in most expansions as well. Um, there'll be cards that work in with the new Megas, most likely. Um, probably Stadium cards will work with them as well. I am I know in like one of the, I think it was, um, oh, which one was it? Dark Explorers? They focused mostly on the Dark cards in their expansion, and they brought cards out like the Dark Patch, which work in quite well with the Dark cards. Um, as you probably saw with my dark deck. A lot of cards from that deck actually from the Dark Explorers expansion ironically. Um, only reason why I know is because I was actually building the deck in real life. Um, <laughs> which is another thing I do enjoy doing. Um, so yeah. Um, recently the Pokemon Company has released um, two more feature cards from this expansion and these are actually two interesting Pokemons. We have a Stage 2 card and a Stage 1 card. So the two cards that are released were Dust Noir and Barbarical. So let's take a look at Dust Noir. So Dust Noir is a Stage 2 card and it's definitely a card for players who like to take risk. Dust Noir's Shadow Void ability sucks up damage counters from your other Pokemon. You can then follow up with its Pain Pellets attack to dish out damage counters to an opposing Pokemon equal to the number of damage counters on Dust Noir. On one hand, you can heal your other Pokemon and then do 120 damage to your opponent's Pokemon. And on the other hand, other, uh, Shadow Void is a one-way street. Dust Noir is stuck with all that damage. So, Dust Noir works very similar to what it does in the mainstream games that you see like um, in Wi-Fi battles. Kind of like with Pain Split. So it just absorbs damage or it can heal itself and then just dish out damage to the opponent as well. Um, so yeah, this Dust Noir can be pretty situational by the sounds of it. It can, um, if you rely heavily on retreating or have a lot of switch cards in your deck, you can definitely utilize Dust Noir's Shadow Void and suck up, uh, not Shadow Void, um, yeah, Shadow Void um, ability, so I'm just reading this very quickly. Um, <laughs> obviously, I haven't seen these cards before, so I've got to think of strategy on top of my head as well. Um, suck up all the damage counters from your bench Pokemon, bring them to Dust Noir in one, at, at the start of your turn, and then end your turn by using Pain Pellets and dishing all that um, damage out onto your Pokemon. Which means in the next turn, if you still live, you have to um, he rely heavily on potions. Um, Abilities like Blissey's um, Soft Boil to heal it as well, so you can get, keep that sustainability on Dust Noir and switch out for a, a um, another card on your bench and just um, continue building up the damage counters to just bring in Dust Noir for one blow. So I can actually just see Dust Noir being used mostly to take out some strong EX cards maybe, just um, cards that have like 180 health for example, or anything just quite um, strong that can counter your deck as well, so it's kind of like a last resort card almost, um, just to take out that card and then either have Dust Noir go down as fodder or as some way of healing it back and then bringing out your other Pokemon. I know, it can be quite interesting seeing how Dust Noir will, will play in competitive scenes. Um, it would definitely be good as a, uh, I'd probably see this more as a supporty card since Shadow Void will t um, suck up all the damage counters from bench Pokemon and dish it out as an attack and then go down as fodder. That's really all I see it as. Um, so yeah, 
That's actually pretty interesting card. I definitely have not come across a card like this before. And as I said, they may bring out support cards to um, utilize very well with Dust Noir. I can actually think of another card that will work very well with this. It's actually an Ace spec card, so you can only have one of them in your card, and that would be, I think it's called Gold Potion, or heal um, all damage counters done to Dust Noir. But as I said, you would need to be living the next turn, and if you have 120 damage already done to Dust Noir, one hit and it goes down. So, um, as I said, it's very situational, this card. Um, it may not actually appear in competitive scenes at all. It's more or less for like a gimmicky play or last resort if you want to take out your last prize card or something like that. I don't know. I At the moment, I really don't have much to say on this card except what I just said then. And the final card that released is Barbarical. So, Barbarical's Rock Rush Phil. Um, Pokemon training card players were dreams of wild and fun energy heavy decks, and for good reasons. Rock Rush does 30 damage times the number of fighting energy you discard from your hand, meaning there's no Pokemon you could not knock out if you had enough energy. More conventional players may instead choose to attack with Boulder Crush, which does 80 damage. Pretty impressive for a stage 1 Pokemon, and indeed it is. Um, Rock Rush, as I said, um, if the more fighting energy you discard, the more damage you'll dish out, which can actually probably one-shot a lot of Megas as well if you discard it. Let's see. It's got 220 health, most Megas, and yeah, 220 or 230 if you're looking at um, the Mega Charizards who have 230. Mega Venusaur, Mega Blastoids have 220, so... Um, three, that's 550, so say five would do 150. Um, so 23 is 8. So if you had discarded 8 any fighting energy cards, you'd take out Mega Charizard and Mega Venusaur and Mega Blastoids. So that's very interesting. So you could actually combine this with cards like Super Rod and Silent. Um, can keep bringing energy cards back from the Scar Pile and bringing them out quickly. That's one strategy I have in mind. Or if you're kind of like a conventional old school player like me, um, Boulder Crush, which deals 80, not too shabby at all. Um, I probably would r utilize Rock Crush. Um, so you would need a pretty energy heavy deck for that one. I'd probably be looking at about, ooh, 15, 18 energy cards I reckon for that deck and probably a very low amount of um, fighting energy cards. This card definitely is an interesting card, I will say that. Um, as I said, you can utilize that with cards that bring cards, energy cards back from the discard pile, like Super Rod. That's probably the best example I have in the best top of my head, unless they're bringing a new one in the um, new expansion. But to this day, um, Super Rod's the only card that would work really well, since you can bring three energy cards with just one card. Um, ooh... I think another way of increasing Barbarical would be Muscle Band or Plus Power, but Muscle Band's probably more conventional for something like this. Um, you don't actually have to equip it with it. Uh, best energy card for it probably would be... I know you probably could put run Muscle Band on it, but I usually run Rocky Helmet on it. That's probably the most conventional item for most decks, but yeah, as I said, we'll just see what the expansion brings out. And um, that's really it for all the featured cards so far that re they've released. They've already released two, so um, I'm definitely looking forward to the Flash Fire expansion. And as I've said, I've just got to keep reminding people, do not spoil it, please. Um, if I wanted spoilers, I'd just go to the Japanese list and have a look. And But I have not done that because, um, obviously, I, I get more joy out of finding out for myself. So, yeah, um... Oh yeah, um, something I mentioned in the last episode was I wasn't quite too sure how to counter the Megas, like um, the Mega Charizards for example. I actually did think of another counter for them, and that was um, Ivansil's Evil Ball. So if it wouldn't really matter what Ivansil you would use, if it's just the normal Ivansil or Ivansil EX. As long as it's got Evil Ball, that's probably the best counter for Mega Charizard. Just stack up Dark cards on that, and as they put energy cards on their Charizards, which they most likely will because it's a heavy hitter. Evil Ball gets powered up depending on how many energy cards are on your card and the opposing card as well. So the more energy they've got, the more damage you'll dish. So that's probably the best counter for the Mega Charizards. And as of yet, I'd probably say Evansal is the best card to be released for the X and Y series. Um, really, with Evansal, you've got to take it out ASAP because once it gets energy cards on it, 
it can just really just keep stacking up energy cards and it almost works like um, a similar effect like you get on hydro pump on my water deck or um, Gaia Blaster on Genesect from my grass deck. Any of those deck um, cards that rely on the more energy cards have got the more power they get. Um, Evil Ball really just works like that plus the extra bonus it gets from any energy cards the defending Pokemon as well which makes it an absolutely beastly card. Um, once that's set up, then it's mostly GG because there's really not much you can do. You have to take it out in one shot or get rid of those energy cards. But your be best bet is to um, be running Rocky Helmet or Rock Guard on your poke and just letting it kill itself or dealing da damage to it and just knocking it out. Once it's down, it, um, your opponent does take a heavy blow. And I know that for a fact since I do run Evansal in my Dark Deck. But yeah, um, that's it for this episode, uh, this update. Um, I'll keep checking back to the website and seeing if they release any more featured cards, um, and we'll go from there. So, um, until the next update video or my next video, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!